Pastor Hector, oh. you need to make me a you need to make me a co-host to let me share. Uh, Brother Joe, I have the lyrics. I put them in the PowerPoint. The ones you shared, so we're good. You what? Hold on, I have to turn on the mic. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. God bless. Brother Joe, I was saying that I, um, I copied the words that you shared, and I put them in the PowerPoint. But I will make you a host. I'm not sure. I'm, what are you going to share? I think the second song he's going to share a video. I think. Are you going to share a video, Brother Joe? Well, look. <laughs> uh, I, I don't have to share anything. You know, I, I, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's going on. No. I, I apologize. I'm sure it may. All right, Brother Joe, I'm making you co-host. I'm not sure if I didn't explain it properly. What I'm saying is that I thought you were only going to share the words. So I have the words already in, the, in my PowerPoint because you share them. Therefore... You have words for... Uh, you have the words for operating these solos or just for all glory, blood, and honor? I have the words that you sent to my wife. You sent them both. So... It's okay, I, I made you go. If you need to share, you can see what I have, and if you need to share anything else, you can. Feel free to do so. God bless yes, you. I see it. All right? Sounds good. So we're going to pray. We're going to get started. It's a pleasure to be here this morning. Um, buenas tardes a todos. Que Dios les bendiga. Welcome to our bilingual service. It's great to see everyone physically. Verles aquí en personas. And also to see those that are online. Happy Palm Sunday. I have my little palm branches. I, I, I can see there's a few people here already that are looking to put them on the ground. So we can do the whole simulation. But it's okay, we don't have to. No tenemos que ponerlos en el piso ahora mismo. Para simular. Vamos a comenzar. Vamos a orar. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your presence, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity. God, to share this morning, te agradecemos, Señor, por esta oportunidad de estar aquí compartiendo esta mañana. Te pedimos, Señor, que hables a nuestra vida. We pray, Father, that you speak to our lives. Te pedimos, Señor, que toques cada, cada persona que ha venido aquí esta mañana y que se encuentra virtualmente. We pray, Father, that you touch every, everybody that is here, Lord. Father, physically, Lord, and that you also, Father, bless every person, Lord, that has decided, Lord, to make a decision. To, to come worship you this morning. Que ha venido aquí, Señor, para alabarte y glorificarte a ti. Lord, we pray, Father, that you visit every family that is here today. Visita cada familia que está aquí presente. Speak to us through the songs. Lord, speak to us, Father, through the Bible readings. Háblanos a través de la, de la, de la lectura bíblica. Háblanos a través, Señor, de, la, de las alabanzas. Manifiesta de una manera especial. Manifest yourself in a mighty way for your glory and for your honor. Para tu gloria y para tu honra. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Amen. amen and amen. amen. Praise be to God. So, welcome to Garden Chapel. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Capilla del Jardín. Estamos contentos de estar aquí con usted este día. We are happy to be here with you this, this day today, celebrating Palm Sunday. If you don't know what that is, si no sabe lo que es el Día de Ramos, le estaremos hablando un ratito. We'll be talking about it shortly. We are celebrating 50 years of Garden Chapel. Estamos celebrando 50 años de la Iglesia Capilla del Jardín. Y el lema para el año, the theme for the year, is brotherhood, hermandad. El tema de nuestro año. No nos olvidemos, let's not forget, um, our memory Bible verse for March. Nuestro versículo de memoria para marzo. Se encuentra en Primera de Pedro, capítulo 3, versículo 8. Y dice, finalmente, sé todos de un mismo sentir, compasivos, amándonos, fraternalmente misericordiosos y amigables. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Domingo de Ramos, Palm Sunday. What is Domingo de Ramos? ¿Qué es? So just a quick little explanation for those of you 
Como hay niños, una explicación rapidita para aquellos que lo necesiten. Como podemos ver aquí, as you can see here, we have a picture of a woman holding the same little branches that we have. Una mujer aguantando los mismos ramos que tenemos. Y nos están poniendo en el piso and they're putting them on the ground. En Latinoamérica, en Latin America, there is actually like a whole reenaction. Se hace, se hace como una, una obra. It's almost like a play of what took place throughout this whole week, a través de esta semana. I remember when I was a child, cuando yo era un niño, eh, Usted no podía ver televisión en Semana Santa. You couldn't watch TV Holy Week. Because the only thing, like if you had like a favorite show, un programa que le gustaba ver, you couldn't see it. Because it had been taken over by, by something connected to Holy Week. Algo reemplazaba lo que, lo que tenía que ver con la Semana Santa. Películas de todo. Movies about all type of Bible characters, you name it, they were all there. Entonces, ¿a qué se refiere el Domingo de Ramos? What is... Um, Palm Sunday about. So, pretty, pretty in a simple explanation. Um, había la profecía del Mesías, there was the prophecy of the Messiah. Se, esto traía esperanza, this brought hope. Y qué impacto tenía esta profecía en tu vida? What impact does this prophecy have in your life today? En el día de hoy, qué impacto tiene? ¿Tiene una relación usted con Dios? ¿O espera Semana Santa para buscar de él? Do you have a relationship with God or do you wait for Holy Week to seek for God? This is a week that often churches, you know, get packed. Now virtually too. Se, se llenan las iglesias o, o usualmente también virtualmente. Pero el punto es, the, the point is that, you know, we should celebrate Holy Week, la Semana Santa. We should celebrate Palm Sunday eh, as we welcome Jesus. Mientras le damos la bienvenida a Dios, a Jesús, todos los días, every day. Every day because he has come into our lives and he has come into our lives. Uh, también cómo lo incorpora, incorporas en el diario vivir how do you incorporate him in your daily life if you have already welcomed him into your life y qué dice tu tiempo y tus redes sociales en cuanto a tu relación con Dios what does your time and your social uh, network say about your relationship with God vamos a seguir a ponernos de pie I'm going to ask everybody to please stand right where you are and you know what sabe qué I'm going to ask you to stand if you're at home le voy a pedir que se ponga de pie si está en la casa So at least you feel like you're physically here. Que se sienta como que está aquí físicamente. Amén. Vamos a seguir a leer la palabra. We're going to read the word. Mateo capítulo 21. Versículo del 1 al 17. Um, we're going to read Matthew chapter 21. Verses 1 through 17. If I have a volunteer that could see it online without a problem. That would not mind reading in English. Si tengo un voluntario que le gustaría leer en la computadora que lo pueda ver o para volunteer here anybody that would like to read in English volunteer I'll read it. okay brother Mark brother Mark's gonna read it in English and I'll read it in Spanish okay as they approached Jer Jerusalem and came to Beth Bethpage on the Mount of Olives Jesus sent two disciples saying to them go to the village ahead of you and once you will you will find a donkey tied there with her coat by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, see you, see you king, comes to you gent gentle and riding on a donkey and on a colt. The, the fowl of the donkey, <clears throat> the disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. Cuando se acercaron a Jerusalén y llegaron a Betfaje, Junto al monte de los olivos, Jesús entonces vio a los discípulos, diciéndole, id a la aldea que está enfrente de vosotros, y enseguida encontraréis una asna atada y un pollino con ella, desatadla y traédmelos. Y si alguien nos dice algo, decid, el Señor los necesita, enseguida los enviará. Eso sucedió para que se cumpliera lo dicho por medio del profeta, cuando dijo, decid a la hija de Sion, mira, tu rey viene. A ti humilde y montado en un asna, y en un pollino, hijo de bestia, de carga. Entonces fueron los discípulos e hicieron tal 
como Jesús les había mandado, y trajeron el asna y el pollino, pusieron sobre ellos sus mantos, y Jesús se, se sentó encima. Y continúa, verses 8 through 12. A very large crowd spread through cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Jalot. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, brother. I, also, I didn't know how to say that word anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of bad for you. Nazareth in, now somebody has to help me out. Go, go. Galilee. 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 Jesus at the temple. Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. La mayoría de la multitud tendió sus mantos en el camino. Otros cortaban ramas de los árboles y las tendían por el camino. Y las multitudes que iban delante de él y las que iban detrás gritaban diciendo Osana al hijo de David bendito el que viene en el nombre del Señor Osana en las alturas cuando él entró en Jerusalén toda la ciudad se agitó y decían ¿Quién es este? y las multitudes contestaban este es el profeta Jesús de Nazaret de Galilea Jesús echa a los mercaderes del templo y entró en, su, en el templo y echó fuera a todos los que compraban y vendía en el templo y volcó las mesas de los campistas y los asientos de los que vendían las palomas. Continue, brother. It is written, he said to them, My house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. The blind and the lame came to him at the temple and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things he did and the children shouted in the temple's courts, Hosanna to the son of David. They were in, in the ignorant. ignorant. They were in them. Do you hear what these children are saying? They asked him. Yes, replied Jesus. Have you never read from the lips of children and infants you? Lord have called forth your praise and he left them and went out of the city to Bethany where he spent the night y les dijo escrito está mi casa será llamada casa de oración pero vosotros la estáis haciendo cuevas de ladrones y en el templo se acercaron a él los ciegos y los cojos y los sanó pero cuando los principales sacerdotes y los escribas vieron las maravillas que había hecho y a los muchachos que gritaban en el templo y que decían, Osana al hijo de David, se indignaron y le dijeron, ¿Oyes que estos dicen? Y Jesús les respondió, Sí, nunca habías leído de la boca de los pequeños y de los niños de pecho te has preparado alabanza y dejándolos salió fuera de la ciudad a Betania y se hospedó allí. Gracias hermano Mark. Thank you brother Mark for reading the scripture. We're going to say a prayer for the word that was read to make sure that everybody grasp it. Amatísimo Dios, te pedimos que bendiga, Señor, esta palabra que ha sido leída en nuestra vida. We pray that you bless this word that has been read in our lives. Father, may we be able to understand it, que la podamos entender. Padre, que podamos aplicar las enseñanzas de esta en nuestra vida. So we'll be able to apply, Lord, the teachings from this Bible lesson today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We also pray that you uh, bless, Lord, the songs that will be sung, Father, and Brother Joe, for sharing. Use them in a mighty way. Bendice también las canciones que serán cantadas. Y bendice también al hermano Joe por compartir en el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. You may be seated. Pueden tomar asientos.
Brother Joe, at this time, if you want to, if that's, if that's what you're saying, then if we're good, you could use it or you could share your screen as whatever you prefer. I think um, he's logged off. He's not on anymore. Okay, Pastor Tim, can you call him, please? Pastor Tim? Yeah, I don't think he's getting back on. Okay. Well, this is the song from Brother Joe, so let's say it. Vamos a cantarla. Hopefully, he can um, join back on, que se pueda conectar. And here we go. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Let me hear your hands. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you again. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Everybody. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. holy. I want to see you. Holy again. Holy, 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 I want to see you, I want to see you, Spanish. Abre mis ojos, oh Cristo, abre mis ojos, te pido, yo quiero verte, yo quiero verte. Abre mis ojos, oh Cristo, y abre mis ojos, te pido, yo quiero verte, yo quiero verte. Y contemplar tu santidad y el resplandor de tu gloria derrama tu amor y poder mientras cantamos santo, santo y contemplar y contemplar tu santidad y el resplandor de tu gloria derrama tu amor y poder Mientras cantamos santo, 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 tell the Lord this morning, santo, 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 yo quiero verte, yo quiero verte, open the eyes of my heart, Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high Shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, 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 I want to see you. I want to see you. Y abre mis ojos, oh Cristo, sí, Señor. Y abre mis ojos, te pido, yo quiero verte. Sí, Señor. 
yo quiero verte y abre mis ojos oh Cristo y abre mis ojos te pido yo quiero verte yo quiero verte y contemplar tu majestad y el resplandor de tu gloria derrama tu amor y poder mientras cantamos santo, santo, te santo, santo, santo santo, santo, santo santo, santo, santo yo quiero verte santo, santo, santo Santo, 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 yo quiero verte, yo quiero verte. I want to see you, my Lord. Vamos a darle unas palmas al Señor. Give the Lord a clap of praise before him. Hallelujah. May the eyes of our hearts be open. And hopefully, uh, once the brother Joe, hopefully he connects back up, he could share the next song a little later on. Cuando se conecte, puede compartir la próxima canción. Aquí está, un poquito más tarde. Vamos a seguir preparándonos en esta mañana. We're going to get ready this morning. To, um, I remind everyone, if you could please mute yourself at this time. If you um, are not going to share a prayer request or, or you would like to say something, si no, va a compartir algo, por favor. Encienda sus micrófonos, apáguelo por favor, um, thank you. Y vamos a recordar, pueden entregar sus, sus ofrendas de diferentes maneras. You could share your offerings in different ways. You could send checks to Garden Chapel, P.O. Box 376, Tower, New Jersey, 07802. Puede hacer mismo, you could send checks payable to Garden Chapel, P.O. Box 376, Tower, New Jersey, 07802. PayPal. Puede utilizar Paypal, info, arroba, gardenchapelchurch.org o también usando ChurchTrack, pero preferimos esta, esta manera de dar. We prefer ChurchTrack because it helps us to keep track of everything and you could keep track of it as well. Usted también puede mane manejar eso y, y ver todo lo que, lo que ha dado y también monitorear sus su contribuciones. You could monitor your own contributions. You could also use info at gardenchapelchurch.org but we prefer ch the ChurchTrack app Um, in order for you to be able to take advantage of that as well. In este momento, this time, um, we are going to be asking if anybody has any prayer requests for them to please unmute. Puede activar su micrófono, or if you have any prayer requests and you're here today. Si tiene peticiones acá y quiere compartirlas, por favor, déjenos saber. En este momento, Brother Mark. Uh, John, John Wiss Sr. is coming home from the hospital tomorrow. Just uh, pray that everything goes well. All right, John was senior. All right, anybody else? I just add one other one. Just uh, tomorrow we're knocking down the building, so just prayers for everything to go well and just uh, okay. as good as it can go. So for Brother Mark's destruction day. <laughs> we, we gotta give it a cool name. They don't have no nombre. Día de destrucción. Tomorrow they're knocking down the, the, the walls of the garage. Van a estar tumbando, derrumbando las paredes del garaje para que todo salga mejor. For everything to go well. Anybody else? Anybody else um, in Zoom that would like to share? Please unmute. Puede activar su micrófono. Any other prayer request? Amen. All right. So let's pray. Vamos a hacer mismo Gloria a Dios. Amantísimo Dios, te damos gracias, Señor, por esta oportunidad de estar aquí reunidos. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Father, to gather here this morning. Señor, en este momento venimos a darte de lo que tú nos has dado. We come, Father, to give you, Lord, from what you have blessed us with. Te pedimos, Padre, que bendigas al Dador Alegre. We pray, Father, that you bless a cheerful giver. Si alguien, alguien en este momento estuviera en necesidad financiera, if anybody, Father, is currently experiencing, Lord, a financial need, 
Te pedimos, Señor, que puedan asistir hacia ti, acudir hacia ti, Señor, como su Jehová y de May they reach out to you, Father, as the Jehovah Jireh, for your glory and honor. Señor, mueve de una manera especial en su vida, Father, move and manifest a mighty way, Father, in their life, my Lord, as you are the provider, como tú eres el proveedor. Bendice la finanza de la iglesia, bless the finances of the church, Padre, que prontamente también, Señor, podamos poder ser partícipe, Señor, de ese sótano terminado. Father, and they will also, Father, soon enough be able to, to partake, Lord, of the finished basement, Father, that will be used for your glory and your honor, para tu gloria y para tu honra. Bendice cada familia que representada en este momento. We pray that you bless every family that is represented here today, Lord. Father, and uh, we also take this time, Father, to, to come before you, Father, to pray, Lord, for all those prayers that we have been presenting to you in front of you, Father, the past the past days. Te presentamos también todas las peticiones que te hemos pedido, Señor, últimamente. Te pedimos, Señor, que toques de una manera especial, Señora Heidi, Señor, que está sufriendo de cáncer. We pray, Father, that you, that you uh, touch Father Sister Heidi's health. Lord, as she'll be uh, undergoing chemotherapy, va a estar pasando el proceso de quimioterapia. Dale fortaleza, give her strength, Señor. Dale optimismo, give her optimism, Padre, que ella pueda refugiarse en ti. May she find refuge in you, my God. Padre, pero que tu fortaleza le ayude a atravesar este proceso. May your strength, Lord, help her to get through this process. In the name of Jesus. Te pedimos también, Señor, que bendigas al Señor John Wiss. Senior, we pray, Father, for John Wiss, Senior, Lord, that as he returns home, Father, that you restore his health, que restaure su salud. Padre, que le bendiga de una manera especial. You bless him in a mighty way. En el nombre de Jesús. Padre, te pedimos también, Señor, por el día de mañana, cuando van a estar removiendo, Señor, derrumbando, Padre, el, el garaje del hermano Mark. We also pray, Father, for tomorrow, as they're going to be knocking down, Lord, uh, Brother Mark's uh, garage, Lord, that everything goes well, que todo salga bien. Padre, te pido que uses al hermano Mark, que él pueda hacerle bendición a las personas que vengan. Father, I pray that you will even use Brother Mark, Lord. May he be a blessing to the people that will be coming to his house tomorrow. May they be touched by you. Puedan ser tocados por ti en el nombre de Jesús. Mi Dios, te pedimos también en este momento que bendigas a nuestra hermana Donna. We pray, Father, that you bless uh, uh, Sister Donna, Lord. Father, continue strengthening her, Father, and, and, and encouraging her day in and day. Continúa dándole fortaleza, Señor, y ánimo y aliento día tras día. Oh, we also pray, Father, for Sister Linda's recovery. También oramos por la recuperación, Señor, de la hermana Linda. Gracias por lo que has hecho hasta este momento. Thank you for what you've done, Father, up to now. Father, and thank you, Lord, that, that every time we get to see her, Father, a smile, Lord, never leaves. Que esa sonrisa nunca se aparta. Padre, continúa dándole fortaleza. Continue giving her strength. Te pedimos, Padre, que bendiga a la hermana Nancy. We also pray, Father, for Sister Nancy, Lord. También, Padre, por la hermana, la hermana uh, Linda. We also pray for Sister Linda, Lord, as well. We also pray, Father, that, that, that you bless, Lord, um, all uh, Sister Fabiola, Father, and her, her family. También oramos, Padre, por la hermana Fabiola y por su familia. Padre, que su salud sea restaurada prontamente. May their health, Father, be restored, Father, uh, promptly and all, Lord, for your glory and honor. Permite, Padre, que, que los resultados salgan ya bien. Que may the results, test results, Father, come back. Father, well, for your glory and honor. Para tu gloria y para tu honra. En el nombre de Jesús, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we pray. Oramos y te pedimos esto, Señor. Amén. Y amén. Glorioso Dios. Aleluya. Así que en este momento vamos a entonar la alabanza para la ofrenda. We're going to sing uh, the song for uh, offering. I'm going to ask uh, my wife to lead us in the song Yahweh. Gloria a Dios. Can you read in the car, please? Wait. Hi, God bless you. Sorry, I'm getting the baby in the car. Can okay. Are you okay to sing now, huh? Right. Hold on. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. So I hear some sounds. So now make sure everybody's muted. All right. So Zoom got creative because they changed the settings, and now I have some controls that allow me to mute, and now I can't. So, um, in the meantime, we're going to sing This is the Day. Vamos a cantar este es el día.
No está aquí. It's not there, but everybody knows this is the day. You know why? Because this is the day. Porque esta es el día. So, that's good enough. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. For this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. For this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Y este es el día, y este es el día que hizo el Señor, que hizo el Señor. Día de alegría, día de alegría y de gozo, y de gozo. Y este es el día que hizo el Señor. Día de alegría y de gozo, y este es el día, y este es el día que hizo el Señor. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. For this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. For this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. One more time in Spanish. Este es el día. Este es el día que hizo el Señor. Que hizo el Señor. Día de alegría. Día de alegría y de gozo, y de gozo. Y este es el día que hizo el Señor. Día de alegría y de gozo. Y este es el día, y este es el día que hizo el Señor. Gloria a Dios. So I'm going to have to ask, praise God, um, if you are not muted, I need you to mute. I'm not sure if something happened, but I don't have the right, the ability to mute anymore. So I don't know if Zoom may have changed the settings, but if, if you are not muted, if you could please mute, I would appreciate it. So sister, let's see, I have a few people here. Okay, I think we're good now, everybody. All right. If you want to share something, feel free to unmute. Not a problem. All right. Now I was able to do it. Praise God. All right. So we're going to continue on with our service. Vamos a continuar con nuestro servicio. ¿Cuántos están contentos de estar en la casa de Dios? Who's happy to be in the Lord's house today? God is good. Dios es bueno todo el tiempo. Y todo el tiempo. And all the time. God is good. Vamos a sí mismo en, esta, en este momento a hacer una oración. We're going to say a prayer. I'm going to ask Pastor Tim to please pray as we move into the message this afternoon. Father God, we just come before you in Jesus' name and thank you for this glorious day, Lord. We thank you for eyes to see and ears to ear, hear, Lord, and also a heart that you've changed. We ask, Lord, as the word is brought forth, that you open our minds and soften our hearts to your truth, to freedom in your word, Lord. And I just thank you so much for Pastor Hector. I thank you for the Garden Chapel. And I just ask you to pour your spirit upon each and every one of us and breathe life onto us this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Tim. Así que vamos a comenzamos una serie hace como tres semanas that we started a series about three weeks ago. Titulada, Obtenga lo que es suyo, Obtain what is yours, by doing different things, haciendo diferentes cosas. Así que la primera es, Obtenga lo que es suyo, buscando, Obtain what is yours, by seeking, ok, what, what is yours. Y luego hablamos de, Obtenga lo que es suyo, peleando, Obtain what is yours, by fighting. Y en la semana pasada, last week, esta foto le gustó a mucha gente, a lot of people like this picture. <laughs> um, 
Obtain what is yours by waiting. Obtenga lo que es suyo esperando. Hopefully not waiting that long. Quizás no tener que esperar tanto, pero bueno. But you get it. Y en el día de hoy, en today, we're going to talk about the, the, uh, under the topic, obtain what is yours by clearing things up. Obtenga lo que es suyo aclarando. ¿Y qué significa eso? What, 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 what does that refer to? En el día de hoy, se conmemora lo que es el, el Domingo de Ramos. Today, we celebrate Palm Sunday. Y para muchas personas tiene un significado diferente. For many people, this has a different, different meaning. Different significance. Um, ¿Qué es exactamente? What is it exactly? Primero que nada, los cristianos conmemoran la entrada mesiánica de Jesús en Jerusalén y su aclamación como Hijo de Dios. First of all, Christians commemorate the messianic entry of Jesus into Jerusalem and they claim, and, and his claim as the Son of God. Mark el fin de la cuaresma y el inicio de la Semana Santa, tiempo en que se celebra la pasión, crucifixión, muerte y resurrección de Cristo. It marks the end of the Lent season and the beginning of Holy Week and the time when the passion, crucifixion, death and resurrection of Christ are celebrated. Es un momento para, para proclamar a Jesús como el pilar, pilar fundamental de sus vidas, tal como lo hizo el pueblo de Jerusalén cuando le recibió y le aclamó como profeta, hijo de Dios, el rey. It is a moment to proclaim Jesus as the fundamental pillar of their lives, just as people of Jerusalem did when they received and acclaimed him as prophet, son of God and king. Gritaban, they were shouting, y gritaban diciendo, Hosanna. They shouted screaming, Hosanna. En hebreo significa, salva ahora. O salva, te rogamos. In Hebrew means save now, or save, we pray. Es una exclamación de triunfo, de alegría y de confianza. It is an exclamation of triumph, of joy, and of confidence. Pero cuando miramos ahora en la sociedad, when we look at society nowadays, hay mucha confusión en nuestro alrededor. There's a lot of confusion around us. Mucha confusión. Y podemos ver aquí, we can see here, Muchas de las, de las cosas que tenemos aquí, a lot of the things that we have here, podemos aquí leer eh, justicia social, social justice, like who is accepted and who's not, quién es aceptado, quién no lo es. Tenemos también confusión en cuanto a lo que el virus que estamos experimentando. We also have confusion even about the virus that we're currently experiencing. Nos ponemos la vacuna, no nos ponemos la vacuna. Do we put the shot, do we not put the shot? Okay, diferencia de confusión es difference and, and confusion. You know, when it regards to what is a life, que es una vida. Confusiones en lo que es tráfico humano, uh, human trafficking. Confusion as to what, what, is, what that is nowadays or what it even looks like anymore. Um, lo, lo, los que dicen que sí, políticamente y no políticamente. Those that, you know, take a political stand saying yes or no. Lo que es la igualdad, when you talk about equality, what does that really look like? ¿Qué significa exactamente eso? Pero yo quiero hablarte a ti en este día. I want to talk to you this morning about the confusion that some may feel in regards to who Jesus Christ is. La confusión que tienen algunas personas de quién verdaderamente es Jesucristo. Y esta confusión fue demostrada a través de esta historia. This confusion was actually uh, demonstrated through the story of, of when, when Jesus comes into, into Gethsemane, cuando él, él es recibido en Gethsemane, the triumphal entry, la, tri la entrada triunfal, como es conocida. Así que hay cuatro maneras de mirar a las personas que estaban ahí. There's four ways to, to look at the people that were there. ¿Ok? Esta lectura está en Juan capítulo 12, del, 10, del 12 al 19. This reading is in the book of John, chapter 12, 12 through 19. We, we read the whole story, already. ya leímos la historia completa. Pero quiero enfocarme en el versículo 17 y 18. Focus on verses 17 and 18. Y la primera persona es el espectador. The first person is the bystander, the spectator. Y dice, y esa es la persona que dice, me preguntaba si era el Mesías. The person that was there was saying, I wonder if he was the Messiah. Así que por aquí viene Jesús. He's, he's coming down. He's walking and está caminando. Y hay mucha, una gran multitud. There's a, a huge multitude of people, a large crowd. And as they're standing there, mientras están ahí parados, ellos están pensando algo. They're thinking something. What is the something? ¿Qué es lo que están pensando? Si usted y yo hubiéramos estado ahí, if you and I have been there, we would have been think, thinking something as well. Y vamos a ver qué es lo que pudieron quizás en ese momento haber pensado. Vemos la confusión hoy día. We see confusion nowadays. 
Tenemos lo que piensa la sociedad, we see what society says. Lo que dice la familia, what the family says. Lo que dice su esposo, what your spouse says. Lo que dice los medios de comunicación, what social media says. Lo que dice sus amistades, what your friends say. Lo que dice sus enemigos, what your enemies say. Lo que dice la tradición, whatever tradition says. Pero te pregunto, what I ask you, what does your relationship with Jesus Christ say today? ¿Qué dice tu relación con Jesucristo? Dice Lucas capítulo 14, 27. Luke 14, 27 says, And whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Y el que no lleva su cruz y viene en pos de mí no puede ser mi discípulo. Lucas 14, 27. Así que dice entonces aquí el versículo 17 y 18, versos 17 and 18. Dice, Y así la multitud que estaba con él cuando llamó a Lázaro del sepulcro y lo resucitó, de entre los muertos daba testimonio de él por eso la multitud fue también a recibirle porque habían oído que él había hecho esta señal now the crowd was with him when, when he called Lazarus from the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to spread the word many people because they had heard that he had performed this sign and many people went out to meet with him ahora ¿Qué es este espectador? Well, what is this spectator? Miremos, el espectador observa y puede seguir, pero no tiene un compromiso necesario. The spectator, they, they can observe and they can continue on, but they don't really have necessarily a commitment. ¿Ok? El espectador, the spectator, is not that person, is that, no es esa persona que está ahí. El espectador puede estar aquí atrás, mirando. They could be standing right over here just watching to see what's going to happen. Mirando lo que va a pasar. Just, just watching, solamente mirando. Sin saber exactamente, esto es bueno, esto es malo, is this good, is this bad, what value does it have, qué valor tiene. Frente a otros, puede hasta parecer que es parte del grupo. In front of others, you could even look as if they were part of the group. That person could come right over and sit right next to this person. Puede venir, se sienta al lado de la persona y está unánime con esa persona. Now they're united with that person. How beautiful, qué, qué maravilloso. But they might not be, pero quizás no lo están. También um, puede respaldar los eventos, pero puede estar mentalmente desconectado con lo que pasa alrededor. They could also, uh, they could support the events, but that doesn't mean that they're mentally, spiritually connected with what's going on. También, ¿qué esperaban estos espectadores? What, what were these ex uh, spectators waiting for? ¿Cuántos experimentaron el milagro? How many had experienced that miracle? There's a difference between the one that experienced the miracle and the one that saw the miracle, the one that saw the one that saw the miracle, the one that saw the miracle. El que lo experimentó vio algo sobrenatural. The one that experienced the miracle felt and saw something supernatural. Pero el otro nada más quizás estaba mirando. Maybe the other person was just there looking as a spectator, and maybe they decided that meant nothing to me. Y podemos haber decidido eso no tiene ningún valor, ningún significado para mí. Así que algunos espectadores dejaron de ser. Ya que luego se convirtieron en seguidores. There's some spectators that turn from spectators to followers. Se convirtieron de, de espectadores luego a lo que son seguidores. Entonces, también hubieron otros, otros no tuvieron fe y tan solo preguntaban. There were others that maybe they didn't have, even have faith. All they did was just worry about asking questions. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that que hablaremos. Y otros ya habían determinado que no importaba lo que experimentaran o presenciaran, no creerían. Then the other group that we're talking about is the group of people that have decided, you know what, it doesn't even matter what I experience. I made my mind up already. Ya yo tengo mi, ya yo, ya yo hice mi pensamiento, eso es lo que, lo que pienso. ¿Ha conocido usted una persona así? ¿Has conocido a alguien de eso? A person that asks you a question, but they already have the answer. Yep. Le hacen una pregunta y ya tienen la respuesta. Y usted en un momento, then it comes to a moment that it kind of like makes you wonder, why are you asking me? ¿Para qué me está preguntando? He's like, hey, uh, what do you believe about this? Or what do you think about, about this particular? ¿Qué piensas sobre esto? And then you share your idea. It's like, well, that's not it. It's this. <laughs> Eso no es, es esto. Okay, fantastico. That, that's great. So, you know, you should have started by saying, you know, I came across this, and this is why, this is my belief. Es mi pensamiento. Pero ya, no quiere escuchar. They don't even want to hear anybody. No importa. Ahora un grupo grande de personas vienen a ver a Jesús y a recibirle. There's this large crowd of people that come to see Jesus and to receive him, to welcome him. Jesús inicia su última semana en la tierra, entrando a Jerusalén montado en un asno, recibido por ramas de palmera, siendo proclamado rey. So, Jesus begins his last week on earth, entering into Jerusalem riding a donkey. And he's received by palm branches, 
and other branches that they just put them down. So nowadays, that would be like saying the red carpet, como decir la, la alfombra roja. Okay? Que solamente gente importante camina en esas. The only important people walk through. Él es rey, he's king. De me merece esto, he deserves this. Ese es el espectador, that's the spectator. Luego tenemos el escéptico. Skeptic. El que decía, bueno, yo pensé que era el Mesías. I, I thought, I thought that he was the Messiah. Vamos a mirar Lucas 19, 29 al 40. Vamos a mirar el 39 y el 40. Luke chapter 19 through 40. Let's look at verses 39 and 40. Dice, entonces algunos de los fariseos de entre la multitud le dijeron, Maestro, reprende a tus discípulos. Él respondiendo les dijo, Os digo que si estos callaran, las piedras clamarían. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, If they quiet, the stones will cry out. ¿Qué es una persona escéptica? What is a skeptic? Miremos la definición, la definition. Es una persona que duda de la verdad de una religión, especialmente el cristianismo o de elementos importantes de ella. It's a person who doubts the truth of a religion, especially Christianity, or, of an, of, or important elements of it. Una persona que nos viene a la mente cuando pensamos en esto, a person that would come to mind, maybe as a skeptic, would be Thomas in the Bible. Podría ser Tomás en la Biblia. Um, un Tomás que duda, por ejemplo, es un escéptico porque se niega a creer sin tener una experiencia personal y directa. So, Thomas refuses to, to believe without having a personal, direct experience. Um, entonces él prácticamente niega que Jesús ha resucitado. He practically then denies that Jesus has resurrected. So it's almost like Jesus didn't re did not resurrect because I didn't see him do it. Él no se resucitó porque yo no lo vi. Imagínese usted, can you imagine? Vivir la vida solamente pensando en lo que usted ve. Just living life based on what you can see with your own two eyes. ¿Dónde cae la fe? Where would faith fall then? Así que tenemos que tener cuidado con el que es escéptico. We have to be careful with, with having that mindset as a, as a skeptic. Because where does that fall? Podemos ver entonces, dice, dice Juan capítulo 20, 24 y 25. John chapter 20, 24 and 25 says the following. Dice, pero Tomás, uno de los doce, llamado Didimo, no estaba con ellos cuando Jesús vino. Le dijeron, pues los otros discípulos al Señor hemos visto. Él les dijo, si no vieren mis, en, en mis en mí, si no viene en sus manos la señal de los clavos y metiere mi dedo en el lugar de los clavos y metiere mi mano en su costado, no creeré. So John 20, 24, 25. But Thomas, one of the twelve disciples, called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord, he said to them. Wouldn't it be nice if, if the answer at that moment si la respuesta hubiera sido Wonderful, que maravilloso That is awesome, que bueno He said he was going to do it and he did it Dijo que lo iba a hacer y lo hizo But how sad that it wasn't And then if I do not that This is what he replied If I do not see in his hands the mark of the nails And put my finger in the place of the nails And put my hand in his side I will not believe Jesús se había aparecido a los otros diez apóstoles. He had appeared to the other ten, ten, ten apostles. Y él pudo ver, y, y hasta, hasta pudieron ver y sentir las heridas. Then at that time he was able to, to see and actually feel the, the wounds. Pero quiero que regresemos, I want us to go back something that happened a little bit before. Lázaro había muerto. Y había muchos espectadores y probablemente habladores también. There were a lot of, a lot of spectators very likely there. And probably a lot of gossipers too. Gente que quería bochinchar, como decimos, people that just wanted to gossip, you know, as, 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 as we can point out. And it's amazing when something happens, it's incredible when algo sucede, porque depende de donde usted esté parado, depending from where you stand, depende de como usted lo vea, depending on how you see it, depende de como usted escuche, the way you hear it, it's how you tell it, es como usted lo cuenta. Creo que en algún momento todos hemos jugado el juego del teléfono. I think we all have played the game of the telephone. Where you tell somebody, you have a group of people, a group of personas, you say something and the message continues. And you start talking about, you know, all you wanted to say was mashed potatoes. And when you get to the end, the end what did they say? Broccoli! And you end up, this is papa pajada y termina con broccoli. And, and it's amazing what happens. Es increíble lo que pasa. Pero nosotros somos así también. We are that way too. 
Pero les recuerdo, para remind you, if we stay grounded in Christ, si nos mantenemos arraigados en Cristo, lo que vamos a hablar es de Cristo, what we're going to talk about is Christ. ¿Qué pasó con Tomás? What happened with Thomas? ¿Dónde estaba la fe? Where was his faith? He should have been able to recall, el mundo se, de, se debería haber podido acordar de la promesa about the promise. But he did not do that. Él no hizo eso. Pero entonces Lázaro había muerto y había muchos, muchas personas que so Lazarus had died. Luego tenemos entonces el versículo 10 y 11, we have verses 10 and 11, donde los principales sacerdotes rechazaron al Mesías. Then here you have the, the chief priest and they rejected uh, the Messiah. They planned to kill Jesus, estaban planeando matar entonces a Jesús. Pero una, una parte que a veces no hablamos, somos the part that we don't mention. It's the fact that later on, además de eso, más tarde, they also plan to kill Lazarus. También quería matar a Lazarus. Yep. ¿Y por qué quería matar a Lazarus? Why did they want to kill Lazarus? Because Lazarus was a living testimony of the power of Jesus. Era un testimonio viviente del poder de Jesús. Amen. Entonces los principales sacerdotes deseaban ver muerto el testimonio de Jesús. They wanted to see death, the testimony of Jesus. El pecado, hermano, lleva más pecado. When we sin, sin leads to more sin. That's just what it does. That's what it does. La multitud alababa a Jesús por darle un rey, pero tenía un concepto erróneo de lo que era el propósito. The multitude, they, they, um, they, they worship, worship Jesus because, and worship God because they're thankful for getting a king. But they had the wrong idea of what this king was going to do. Tenía una idea errónea de lo que este rey iba a hacer. Y yo no sé ustedes si se puede pasar o no, if you ever took time to think about this. So, it is Sunday, es domingo. Y vemos aquí la entrada de un fan. Here we see the triumphal entry. Pasan estos días, we get to these days. Le están, le están adorando, they're worshiping him. Le están reconociendo, they're recognizing who he is. Están gritando, they're shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. I probably am not even shouting loud enough. They didn't think that was suficientemente alto because they were really, really duro. Lo estaban haciendo de verdad. Pero lo estaban haciendo sin entender verdaderamente a quién estaban orando. They were doing it without really understanding really who they were really, really worshiping in the sense of the plan that God had for him. El plan que Dios tenía para él. Jesús era muy conocido en este momento. Jesus was very well known at this time. Tan conocido, so well known, that when Jesus tells the disciples to go, to go and get the, the donkey, que vaya a buscar el asno, cuando dice, si te preguntan, if they ask you, just tell them that the Lord needs it. El Señor lo necesita. But what Lord? ¿Qué Señor? Well, the only one, el único. So he was, that's how well known he was. Así de, de, de conocido estaban esos momentos. Los fariseos consideraban que la palabra de Jesús era un sacrilegio y la femia. The, the, the Pharisees actually, they believed that the words of Jesus were considered a sacrilege and blasphemy against the Lord. Y pasamos entonces al tercero. We come now to the third person that could have been there. Puede ser la persona incrédula. The unbeliever. El que dice, yo digo que no es el Mesías. I say, he is not the Messiah. Habló esta semana pasada, this, this past week I was talking to somebody. Y esta persona me dice, la persona me cuenta, the, the, the person shares. Y hablábamos, ya le conozco a la persona de hace tiempo, I, I know the person for a while. Y eh, la persona le gusta decir, yo no creo en Dios. They, they like to say, I don't believe in God. I'm an atheist. That's the person. They say, yo soy ateo. And I say, I said to them, I'm like, oh, so you, you already studied all the religions, right? Ya estudiaste todas las religiones. They said, no. I'm like, so you're not an atheist. No, I don't. Because you don't know what's out there. You can't say that it's not, that one of them is not right. No puedes decir entonces que uno de esos esté correcto. Y la persona, la persona como que se pidió de ti, no laughed. We, we had a laugh in the conversation. Nos reímos. But then the person said, but you know, I really want my children to learn about the word of God. Quiero que mis hijos aprendan de la palabra de Dios. And they go, oh, okay. They go, oh, all right. Um, pero miramos aquí lo que hacían los fariseos. Let's look at what the, what the Pharisees, Pharisees used to do. So, John 12, 12 through 19, we're going to only focus on verse 19. Vamos a leer el 19. Dice, entonces los fariseos decían unos a otros. ¿Veis que no conseguís nada? Mirad, todo el mundo se ha ido detrás de él. So, the Pharisees said to one another, See, this is getting us nowhere. Look how the whole world has gone 
after him. El incrédulo. The unbeliever. No importa lo que usted trata de compartir en la mente. It doesn't really matter what you try to share. When the person has made up their mind. Cuando la persona ha decidido en su mente. Y ha endurecido su corazón. They have heart in their heart. El, el, el faraón en Egipto. The pharaoh in Egypt. His heart was so hard. El corazón estaba tan duro que ya no había. No iba a regresar para otro lado. There was no turning back. Ya había decidido. Had already decided what was going to happen. Lo que iba a sí mismo a pasar. El incrédulo puede formar parte del grupo y participar indirectamente, pero ya tiene su decisión tomada. So, the unbeliever could be with us today. Puede haber una persona que no sea creyente hoy día aquí. Una persona que viene y aplaude cuando todos aplauden. Somebody that comes and claps when everybody else claps. Una persona que se para cuando nos ponemos de pie. They stand where we stand. Canta cuando cantamos. They sing what we sing. But that does not mean that because you follow the motions, You are in the relationship. Porque sigues la emoción, los movimientos no significa que estás en la relación. Así que, ojo con esto. We have to watch out for that. Los fariseos se sentían amenazados por Jesús. The Pharisees, they felt threatened by Jesus. Preferían ver a un hombre ciego o cojo que a Jesús sanar un sábado. They prefer to see a, a lame man or a blind man than Jesus healing them during the Sabbath. Because the Sabbath was more important than that life. El, el sábado era más importante que esa, que esa vida. Pero Jesús quería mostrar, Jesus wanted to show, no, que esa vida era más importante que la vida. He wanted to show that that life was more important than the law. Que tu vida, that your life, es más importante que la ley. Uh, your life is more important than the law. Que tu vida es tan importante que Él estuvo dispuesto a venir a morir por ti en una cruz. That he was willing to come give his life for you and die for you on that cross. And I have some news for you today. Te tengo una noticia en el día de hoy. Quiero que entiendas. I want you to understand. Que aunque le dieron la bienvenida. Even though he was welcomed. Aunque yo mismo. Even if I had done it myself. And I welcomed him and worshiped him. Lo hubiera adorado. Hosanna, Hosanna. And I had shouted Hosanna. And then I turned against him. Y me lo hubiera dado la espalda. Él murió por mí como quiera. He still died for me. Yo no lo merecía. I didn't deserve it. Pero esa es la gracia de Dios. That is the grace of God. Gracia tan grande. Grace so big. That he gave value to me. Que él me dio valor a mí. That he gave value to you. Que él te dio valor a ti. El vivir por seguir la ley tenía más valor que el bienestar de necesitado. Just to live according to the expectation of the law was more important than the welfare of that person to the Pharisees. La relación con Dios se había hecho un tipo de novedad para conversación y reglas intelectuales. The relationship with God had become a kind of novelty act for conversation and intellectual challenges. They would walk around the streets, caminaban por los, por los lugares con su cabeza en alto, with, the, with their heads up high. I had an experience in, um, in Israel, I had an experience in Israel, que honestamente les cuento, and I honestly say this to you, I, I fear for my life. Me, me, mi vida estuvo en peligro, um, and rightly so, y verdaderamente. I, I'll tell you really quickly what happened. Y le voy a contar esta historia porque está completamente conectada con una persona que no entiende el valor de la realidad. It's really connected when somebody does not understand the value of reality. Um, so, going to Israel was a beautiful experience, una experiencia maravillosa. I mean, you get to see and experience so much. Uno puede ver y experimentar tantas cosas. But then, there are also certain things that we're not used to necessarily experiencing here all the time. I've seen it in some places, lo he visto en algunos lugares, cosas que uno experimenta ya que no está, no está aquí por todos lados. Give you an example, le cuento un, un ejemplo. I was walking with a group, estaba caminando con un grupo, and all of a sudden my shoulder went like this. My, mi, mi hombro hizo así, like, not exactly, not a little bit, but just like really far. Se fue hasta bastante al frente. And I'm like, what in the world just happened? ¿Qué pasó? There were probably 19 year old girls, Dos jovencitas que estaban, que son soldados, they're, they're in the military. Um, and they were running with an M16. Estaban corriendo con una M16. And as they're running with the M16, the back of it hit my shoulder. La parte de atrás de la escopeta me dio mi, en mi hombro. 
And they just continued on, you continue on. But just to say little things that are a little different, cositas que son un poquito diferentes. Fuimos a un lugar donde se cree que, que la tumba de Jesús estaba en ese lugar. We went to visit a place where it is believed that, that, the, that that's where Jesus was buried. Ok? Que ahí fue, fue que fue um, enterrado. And when we're there, if you are claustrophobic, si usted es claustrophobico, you could not go in there, no podría entrar ahí. You literally have, there is no room to walk. Usted prácticamente no puede. And, and you look at there, uno mira y uno dice, pero ¿cómo es esa línea? How is this line? Is there a line? Hay una línea? It's so hard to you just move like little baby steps like this and my baby, pasitos de bebé. Estamos en nuestro grupo, we're in our group, and I literally, I just went and I was towards the back of our group because we have some elderly people and I was kind of, Guiding them and just making sure they work. Que están con el grupo de la gente mayor, mirando que el grupo es que ellos estaban bien. Y viene un grupo como de 30 personas. As we're standing there, la waiting for the group to come around, que el grupo pase. Vienen como 30 personas, un grupo como de 30. So about 30 people in this group. And this group of 30 people, imagínense dónde se fue. Can you imagine where they went? Right in front of us. All 30 of them, los 30. There may have been more, but I've never seen them as. Um, we're looking at each other, and we're looking but there's no room to walk in here, and 30 people have just pushed through. Han pasado 30 personas. Nosotros no sabemos, we didn't know that there was also a little section on the back of, of, the, of where the tomb is believed to be. Había una sección en la parte de atrás donde, donde estaba la, la tumba. Fuera de ese, de ese lugar, outside of that place, they were, they were military with, with guns and weapons, había militares con, con armas y todas estas cosas. Pero adentro, usted no podía encontrar empleados. You really didn't see like employees or workers. It was just, just go where you're going to go. Métase con lo que se va a meter. And as we're walking, estamos caminando, the 30 people went, I'm like, oh my goodness, like this is, crazy. I'm like, we're never going to get out of here. Nunca vamos a salir de aquí. So then, Another group of a few people begin to go by and there. And then I say, oh, excuse me, um, is, are you guys part of the line or what's up? So I actually asked him, I asked him, again, I'm with the group, the Tigonga group. I said, oh, no, oh, oh, we're just going over there. I'm like, oh, okay, good to know. I didn't know that there was a sign of Sabia. And then they explained it to us and we understood. So they were not going to where we were going. They were going somewhere else, they were going somewhere else, they were And we saw it happen, blue people. And made sense. Okay. Estamos llegando a la parte de atrás. We're getting to the back of the of, of, of where the where the cave would be, or you know, the where the burial place was donde fue enterrado. Y cuando estamos al lado, we're right on the side, there's a door there, hay una puerta, and there's a there's a good group of people here that are coming just to get to that side. Para llegar hasta allá, and then you get to see the place. Y puede ver. Mientras estamos aquí, hay un señor que yo no conozco. There's this man that I don't know. I'm six feet tall. This man had to be maybe six four. Okay, he's probably maybe in his 60s, como sus 60 años. You know, well built man, but you know, a, a bit older, un poco mayor, and you know, older than me. I mean, I mean, mayor que yo. And you know, we're just there, and this person comes and he like starts to go through us. Empieza a, a, a atravesar. This is one person, but this person begins to push. He's pushing. Now, I'm right here, baby. Six four, six feet tall. This person's about this, I don't know, maybe five feet. Okay? But this person's pushing through a tempo handle. And even push me to the side. I'm not expecting. Yo estaba esperando me empujar me. I'm like, what in the world just happened? ¿Qué pasó? Like, it didn't even give me a second to even respond because I wasn't expecting to get pushed. Yo estaba esperando. Y de repente pujó al señor. He also pushed the man. When he pushed the man, the man put his hand on him. Le hizo así con la mano. And I had told, I had, I was doing the same thing. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? Because now it wasn't just me. Again, I'm with elderly people. Estoy con gente mayor. And this man just pushing through. Some of the people are, that we are walking with, they even have walkers. Okay? So, hasta con andadores algunas personas. So, it was dangerous. Este hombre cuando le hizo así, when, this, when, the, when the tall man, when he, when he went like that to confront him, when he, he went like that to say, hey, what are you doing? This guy, that much shorter than us, that my joven, this guy, there is no room, no hay espacio, he jumped in the air and he did this. He just stopped. He just kicked. 
He kicked as hard as he could. He just jumped, and then he did like, it was like a karate kick. It was just one pop. He just like snapped. And he kicked the man's leg. Y le, y le, y le pateó la, la pierna a este señor mayor, to this man. Older man. This man that did this had to be maybe in his 40s, 30s, como en sus 30 o 40. And at that moment, en ese momento, yo estoy ahí como le andré as a leader, ayudando, helping, and this is not correct, this is not, this is not supposed to happen, no se supone que pase. And I said to him, hey, stop that. Le dije, mira, para. And that man just turned around, se volteó. And he looked at me, me miró. And his eyes, yeah. cerró. Si so, lo dijeron todo. Like, you won't even make it back on that plane there, buddy. No va ni a regresar en ese, en ese, en ese avión. Now, like, even as I'm telling the sermon, like, what the story, I can picture this man's eyes. I, ha I don't think in my life nobody has ever looked at me with so much hate, con tanto odio, with so much anger, con tanto enojo. Now, why am I telling you that story? ¿Por qué le estoy contando esa historia? Because that man, ese hombre, he wasn't a visitor, no era un visitante. He wasn't somebody that traveled from other places to go there to see this as a tourist, no era un turista que vino a otro lugar a verlo. No, this man was one of the officials for that church that was right here. Uno de los oficiales para la iglesia que estaba aquí para allá. So he looked like he belonged there, que le pertenecía ahí. And he was a perfect example of a Pharisee. Un excelente ejemplo de lo que es un fariseo. Because he was walking, looking the short part, caminando con su vestimenta, with his own clothing, appearing something. Pero cuando le tocó el momento, but when the time came for him to really show his true colors, verdaderamente demostrar sus colores verdaderos, demostró que, que Dios le está diciendo, what God are you serving? Let me kick you, déjame patearte, so I could come here and welcome everybody to come look at the tomb where Jesus was buried. Déjame patearte, para que, dale la bienvenida a todos, para que veas aquí donde Jesús fue crucificado. I mean, it, it, just, it just doesn't really add up. So that's the unbeliever. And the last one, el último. El seguidor. He's the follower. Y este es el que dice, yo sabía que él era el Mesías. The one that says, I knew he was the Messiah. Mateo capítulo 21, de 1 17, Matthew 21, 1-17, which we read. We're going to look at verses 9-11, through 11, de 9 al 11. Donde dice lo siguiente, dice, las multitudes que iban delante de él y las que iban atrás, Gritaban diciendo, Osana al hijo de David, bendito el que viene en el nombre del Señor. Osana a las alturas, cuando él entró en Jerusalén, toda la ciudad se agitó y decían, ¿Quién es este? Y las multitudes contestaban, este es el profeta Jesús de Nazaret de Galilea, Señor, Osana en las alturas. The crowd that went ahead of him, and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. In Galilee. So the followers that were part of this crowd, los que eran parte de este grupo, ellos conocían, they knew. Ellos tenían fe, they had faith. Ellos no tenían duda, they had no doubt that this was the Messiah. ¿Qué era? El Mesías. El seguidor conoce, the follower knows who he's following. El seguidor sabe cuándo parar y cuándo continuar. He knows when to continue or when to stop. El seguidor entiende que no existe la perfección, pero el progreso que sigue a Dios nunca es paro, ya que le honra. The, the follower understands that perfection does not, does not exist, but just working progressively to do what the Lord wants. That's what we need to do. El seguidor entiende que entre la multitud gritaban y muchos gritaban lo mismo. The follower understands that even though the crowd stands here and they all shout Hosanna, todos están gritando Hosanna. Si tú te paras aquí
aquí. If you stand here, you're going to see something a little different in that father. Va a haber algo un poquito diferente en ese seguidor. Porque ese seguidor lo está haciendo de corazón. He's doing it from the heart. She's doing it from the heart. Siente algo especial. Feel something special. Porque Dios verdaderamente es su Dios. Because God is truly their God. Y ese seguidor and that follower. Después de haber puesto esta rama, after putting the palm branches on the ground. Once the time came for the crucifixion, el tiempo de la, de la crucifixión, el verdadero seguidor, the true follower, was not going to turn on the Lord. No iba a voltearse o a darle la espalda al Señor. No iba a gritar crucifixion. He was not going to shout, crucify him. No. Because this is the true Power of Christ. Así que, cuando se sigue dando testimonio, otros pueden reconocer a quién representamos y de quién somos embajadores. Embajadores. When we can continue to give testimony, we can see and also recognize who is the one that we worship. A quién es el que nosotros verdaderamente adoramos. Así que yo te, te pregunto en esta tarde, I ask you this afternoon, ¿cuál de estos cuatro eres tú? Which of these four are you? Papi. Yes, my darling. ¿Eres el espectador? Papi. Are you the spectator? ¿Eres el escéptico? Are you the skeptic? ¿Eres el incrédulo? Are you the unbeliever? ¿O eres el seguidor? Are you the follower? Esa es una pregunta que usted y yo tienen que, que usted y yo tenemos que responder esta tarde. Es una question that you and I have to answer today. Cuando nosotros buscamos decir, when we seek from the Lord, yeah. we can make decisions understanding that we're going to be subject to those decisions. Yeah. Podemos tomar decisiones entendiendo, podemos tener que, que, que tomar una posición de esas decisiones que estamos tomando. Yeah. Así que. Te pregunto esta tarea, I ask you this afternoon. Yeah. I want you to take this with you. Quiero que te lleves con esto. ¿Qué tipo de seguidor eres tú? What type of follower are you? Yeah. Aclara tu posición y Dios respaldará tu decisión. Clear up your position and God will guide your decision. Amen. Lo voy a repetir, I want to repeat it again. Aclara tu posición y, re, y Dios respaldará tu decisión. Clear up your position and God will guide your decision. I want you to understand. Quiero que entiendas antes de terminar, before we finish up. Toda esta gente no va para el cielo. All these people are not going to heaven. Algunas veces queremos hablar de la misericordia. So that we want to talk about the mercy of God. But you know what? If I am turning my back to God. Si yo le estoy dando la espalda a Dios. If I'm rejecting the fact that Jesus is God. That he is who he says he is. Que él es quien él es. Why do I even want to be in heaven? ¿Para qué yo quiero estar en el cielo? Why do I want to be somewhere that I don't believe? In? ¿Por qué quiero estar en un lugar donde, donde no creo? Así que tu decisión, it is your decision. Which type of follower you want to be? ¿Qué tipo de creyente quieres ser? Cuando, cuando Jesús se encontró con Tomás, when Jesus met with Thomas, Jesús le dijo, he told him, bienaventurado el que sin ver cree, blessed the one that believes without sin así que en esta tarde this afternoon yo te animo I encourage you a que puedas aclarar tu posición con Dios for you to be able to clear up your position with God entendiendo que te va a respaldar understanding that he's gonna he's gonna support you he's gonna guide you si hay algo en tu vida que te está alejando del camino del Señor if there's something with the Lord I mean, in your, in your personal life that is keeping you from the Lord. Confess it to the Lord today. Confess it to the Lord today. Y aclara tu camino. I just clear up your, your path. Mira, hermano, es bonito que tengamos esta rama en el día de hoy. It's nice that we have this, this palm branch. Pero no tiene nada de bonito. It has, there is no beauty in having this palm branch. Putting it down. Poniendo ahí. Welcoming Jesus. Darle la bienvenida a Jesús. And then giving our back to Him. Y dale luego nuestra espalda a Él. Así que vamos a orar en esta tarde. Let's pray this afternoon. Y luego le voy a hacer a mi esposa. Mi esposa está entorando una alabanza. My wife 
appreciate me joining us with the song. Amatísimo Dios, venimos delante de tu presencia, dear God, we come before your presence. Te agradecemos, we thank you. Gracias, Padre, porque hasta aquí nos has traído con bien. Thank you, Father, that you've brought us here, Lord, safely. Te pedimos, Padre, que en esta tarde las personas que no son seguidoras tuyas, people, Father, that are not true followers of you, my God. Padre, toca vidas, touch lives. Y Padre, haz sentir las áreas que tienen que ser cambiadas. Father, allow people to be able to feel, Lord, what areas of their life needs to be changed. Para que podamos ser verdaderamente seguidores, auténticos y genuinos tuyos. For, we could, for us to be able to be, Lord, authentic and genuine followers of you, my God. Thank you, Father, for coming into the world. Gracias por venir al mundo. Gracias, Padre, por, por pasar por el proceso que vas a hacer. Thank you for going through the process that you went through para que hoy día tuviéramos acceso a tu perdón. So today we could have access to your forgiveness. Gracias, mi Dios. Thank you, my Lord. En el nombre de Jesús, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Glory to God. Y así le paso la parte a mi esposa. That's the part of my wife at this time. Glory to God. Gloria a Dios, aleluya. Praise the Lord. God bless everyone. God is good. Dios es bueno. Aleluya. God is faithful. Dios es fiel. Te damos la honra y gloria, Señor. I want to dedicate this song to my Lord. It's called Hosanna. Voy a dedicar este canto a mi Señor que se llama Hosanna. Gloria a Dios, aleluya. No tengo música, pero para la honra y gloria del Señor. I don't have music, but for God's glory and honor. Just... If you can sing along once you get to the chorus, that's easy enough. Just sing it. Sing it out from your heart. Si conoce, si, si pueden este, cantar conmigo, pues canta el coro. Aleluya. Dios Santo, tú eres poderoso, mi Dios. Aleluya. Gracias, Señor. Te damos, Señor. We just bless your name, Father God. Con todo lo que soy. Yo te exaltaré, yo te exaltaré. Tú eres mi pasión, te bendeciré, te bendeciré. Tu amor me transformó.
triumphant entry, Lord God. Gracias, Señor, por esa entrada triunfante tuyo, mi Dios Jesús. Te glorificamos, mi Dios. We glorify you. God bless. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless. My wife with that beautiful song. We also um, know that how wonderful that we have the ability to say Hosanna today. Qué maravilloso que tenemos la habilidad de poder decirle Hosanna en el día de hoy. Hosanna en lo alto. En este momento, at this time, um, Brother Joe, he was going to be connecting. He was, I think he's working. Debe estar funcionando. So, Brother Joe, if you're here, it's going to plug in. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. So, let me show you, Brother Joe, if you tell me if this is okay. Is this, is this okay? That's good? Yes, that's fine. Beautiful. So, Brother Joe, take it away. Ahora, hermano, Joe va a cantar la canción que tuvimos el problema with the technical difficulties. Okay, um, good morning, everyone. Happy Palm Sunday. Um, Leave it to me to have a meltdown on Palm Sunday, but um, I'll do the best I can to uh, bring it together. Uh, it, it's always the same issue, um, not relying enough on God. So today is the day we celebrate. The other song opened my eyes so that I can see Jesus. And I guess it bears remembering that 
the souls that were there uh, uh, crying the Hosannas and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord were many of the same people who would be calling for his torture and execution by Thursday. So, okay, so now this song, which I think is a traditional um, Palm Sunday song.
That was beautiful Palm Sunday song. Una canción bonita para el domingo de, de, de Palmas. Nunca la había escuchado, never heard it. Um, I saw the words, the beautiful, beautiful um, reminder, un recordatorio hermoso. Brother Joe, I'm going to translate a lot of the things that you said in the beginning, just so everyone. Um, cuando el hermano Joe cogió la oportunidad, él le estaba diciendo que, que le excusaran porque es, tuvo un día un poco difícil y que algunas veces las circunstancias de la vida son difíciles de lidiar, pero tenemos que arraigarnos en Cristo. Um, y él comparte esta canción y quería que todos la podamos aplicar en nuestras vidas y usarla como una forma de esperanza ok, so, there you go praise God, and I'm not going to repeat everything brother Joe because you already said <laughs> así que en esta tarde vamos a seguir morar y así mismo nos despedimos we're going to say our final prayer and um, we'll be ready to, to head out right after we go over the the announcements for this week, so the announcements for this week tenemos las clases de inglés, la clase de inglés el, el martes, uh, ESL classes 4.15 to 6.50, de 4.15 a 6.50, el estudio bíblico en español de 7 a 8, Bible study in Spanish, 7 to 8, uh, Bible study in English from 6.30 to 7, prayer, 8 o'clock, uh, from 7 to 8 o'clock, the Bible study, tenemos conexión espiritual, we have spiritual connection on Fridays, from 6.30 to 7.30, where we pray, donde oramos, tenemos el show de los niños, we have the children's show, 7.30, the Snoopy and Snippy show. Vamos a tener otra película familiar, we're going to have another family movie night. Um, April 22nd, el 22 de abril, de 6 a 8 y media, from 6 to 8.30. If you are available, please join us. Uh, we came last time, we had a blessed time. Right, Brother Mark? We had a good time with the movie? Yes, very nice. It was, it was, a, it was a great time. Um, tenemos eh, la actividad para las mujeres. Um, el 17 de, de abril and um, we're going to have a men's uh, also breakfast and fellowship um, April 24th we're going to go hiking man, vamos a ir a caminar ok, um, so if you want to join, please, please let us know, si quieren unirse, déjenos saber estaremos compartiendo, we'll be sharing um, so hopefully you can come and we got The men that are here, los muchachos que están acá, it's, it's a blessed time. It's a blessed time. All right? The women's group, if, if, um, anybody can come from 9.30. We're going to watch the movie, um, Ruth. And then on the uh, April 17th, 9.30 in the morning, uh, all women are invited as well. We're going to be watching the, well, no, we. I'm not coming. You know where that. It's only women. So los mujeres. They're going to be watching the movie Ruth. Okay? La película Ruth. De mujeres. So, it's a beautiful movie, una película, una película muy, muy bonita. Bien, vamos a hacer mismo ahora. Let's pray. Amado Dios, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father, for the opportunity to gather here today. We pray, Lord, that we don't take for granted, Father, the fact that we can shout to you and say, Hosanna. Que no pasemos por alto el hecho de que podemos gritar, Señor, y clamar y decir, Hosanna. Padre, ayúdanos a poder ser seguidores auténticos. May we be, Father, authentic followers of you, my God. Que podamos demostrarle la manera que vivimos nuestra vida, that we can demonstrate, Father, the way that we live our lives. Continúa ayudándonos di diariamente. Continue helping us, Lord, daily, so we could be more like you. Que podamos ser más y más como tú. Y a través de esta semana, ayúdanos a reflexionar, Padre, en esta palabra. Help us throughout the week to reflect upon these words. En el nombre de Jesús, bendice cada familia que representa. Bless every family that is represented here. Los que estarán viendo esto luego, for those that will be watching later on, Father, we send the blessing upon their way. Una bendición para sobre su vida. Suple su necesidad de supply their needs for your glory and your honor. Para tu gloria y para su honra. En el nombre de Jesús, in the name of Jesus, we pray for travel and mercies for everyone that is here physically today. Oramos, Padre, por, porque le lleves conmigo a todos los que están aquí en este momento. En el nombre de Jesús, in the name of Jesus. And everybody says, Amen and Amen. I forgot to remind everyone, we have the baptism classes on Sundays. Remember, next Sunday we don't have the classes because of the spring. No tenemos la clase el próximo domingo, but we will be having the Spanish one this Tuesday. Este martes tendremos la de esta semana. Que Jehová te bendiga y te guarde. Que Jehová haga resplandecer su rostro sobre ti. Y tenga de ti misericordia, que Jehová alce sobre ti su rostro y ponga en ti paz. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. God bless everyone. Dios les bendiga. Glorioso Dios. Vamos a dar un aplauso a Jesús.